بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم respected parents and my dear students how are you i hope you all are doing good students are you watching your daily video classes that's very good this is your science class let's start our studies students before starting our new topic we will recall what we have studied in our previous class can anybody tell me what was our topic very good growing up and we studied that only living things grow and a baby girl grows up to be a woman and a baby boy grows to be a man excellent and then students what we have learned excellent very good we learned that plants and animals also grow tiny plants grow into large plants baby animals grow into adult animals very good students so students now let's start our new topic students all of you open page 5 this is page 5 hurry up all of you open it very good students this is our topic for today why do living things need food are you reading with me very good okay students read with me why do living things need food all living things like plants animals and human beings need food to stay alive what is written here all living things like plants animals and human beings need food to stay alive food helps us to grow food helps us to grow it gives us energy it gives us energy plants make their own food plants make their own food some animals eat plants some animals eat plants some animals eat other animals some animals eat other animals human beings eat food that comes from both plants and animals human beings eat food that comes from both plants and animals okay students i am reading again please concentrate why do living things need food all living things like plants animals and human beings need food to stay alive food 
helps us to grow it gives us energy plants make their own food some animals eat plants some animals eat other animals human beings eat food that comes from both plants and animals very good okay students now we will see what is written in this paragraph it is written that why do living things need food living things ko food ki zarurat kyun hoti hai all living things like plants sare living things jaise ki plants animals and human beings need food to stay alive unko food ki zarurat isliye hoti hai taki wo zinda reh sake food helps us to grow food hamari help karti hai taki hum grow kar sake and it gives us energy and do you know students when we eat food it gives us energy hame taakat milti hai when we eat food plants make their own food plants apni food khud prepare karte hain sunlight soil air water ki help se and some animals eat plants एंड कुछ एनिमल्स जो हैं उनकी फूड में प्लांट्स होते हैं वो प्लांट्स को खाते हैं लाइक काओ गोट लैम्ब शीप सम एनिमल्स ईट अदर एनिमल्स एंड कुछ एनिमल्स जो हैं वो दूसरे एनिमल्स को खाते हैं लाइक टाइगर लाइन ओके स्टूडेंट्स ह्यूमन बींग्स ईट फूड दैट comes from both plants and animals and do you know students human beings yani ke hum insaan jo food khate hain wo aati hai both plants and animals it means the food we eat comes from both plants and animals plant se bhi milti hai animal se bhi milti hai so students now you can see there are so many pictures on this page 5 and these all are food all the pictures are of food items on the very first we can see apple this is apple okay students and then this is spinach tomatoes carrot chicken mutton beef apple first of all can you see this is apple and we get apple from plants okay apple grows on trees and this is vegetable what is the name of this vegetable spinach this is spinach it also comes from plants and these are tomatoes these are tomatoes and they comes from plants this is carrot this is carrot and we get carrot from plants then this is chicken this is what is this students this is chicken and it comes from animals this is mutton it comes from animals this is beef it comes from animals so there is a variety of food some comes from plants and other comes from animals okay students now i will show you some cars 
so students can you tell me what is this yes these are tomatoes and we get tomatoes from plants excellent and what is this students this is an apple and we get apple from plants very good and this is spinach it also comes from plants and this is chicken meat it comes from animals these are carrots what are these students these are carrots and we get them from plants and this is a glass of milk do you know students where do we get milk from we get milk from animals so students what we learned today today we have learned that there are two kinds of food one comes from plants and the other one comes from animals so students it's your homework time and you can see students that we have learned about these food items that which food comes from animals and which food comes from plants now it's your homework that you have to draw two columns okay students what you will do you will draw these two columns food from animals you will write any two food items which comes from animals and on this side you will write two food items that comes from plants okay students you have to take a page or your notebook and on that page and notebook you will draw two columns like this in first column you will write food from animals and you will mention two food items like chicken egg milk beef mutton any two of them and on this side you will write food from plants and you will write any food item like apple mango banana grapes spinach tomatoes potatoes okay there are so many food items which comes from plants this is your homework you have to complete this homework and share the picture in whatsapp group okay students i hope you have enjoyed today's class stay home stay safe take care allah hafiz Allahumma anfa'na bima 'allamtana wa 'allimna ma yanfa'una wa zidna 'ilma